In our previous tutorial, we were able to create our models and uh, we were able to add the models uh, or import our models into the admin app and we were able to display these models on the uh, Django administration page. So as you can see here, this is what we have in our Django admin uh, page. So then uh, to, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to now set up our Django REST API. And uh, the first step, remember we had installed the REST API or Django REST framework uh, and Django REST framework uh, GIS in the, uh, as the installed applications. And we had also installed uh, Django CORS headers for cross-origin uh, requests. So we are going to add these into our settings.py file for, for the project. And our installed apps, as shown here, uh, actually I had already added them previously and commented them out. So we have REST framework and REST framework G, uh, GIS. And we also have uh, CORS headers. So I'm just going to add them here. CORS headers and uh, for the CRS headers I'm going to configure it uh, <coughs> further sorry and I'm going to add it in uh, before the common middleware so I'm going to add the CRS headers middleware after the common or rather before sorry before the common middleware Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, since I'm using this on my local machine, there's a setting that I'm going to add uh, just to allow all origins uh, is equal to true. So you can refer to the CORS Django course headers uh, documentation for details. I'm going to share the link. Uh, having set up that, uh, our next step will be to uh, show or to add our uh, to create a view set uh, and our serializers. So the work of the Django serializer uh, is to convert. Uh, I mean, the primary work of is to convert complex data types uh, such as Django model instances into Python data types that can be easily rendered into JSON or uh, XML, yeah, or any other content types. And it is a fundamental part of building APIs uh, using Django. So our next step will be creating our serializers.py file. Serializers.py. And now in our serializers, uh, we are going to add, uh, we are going to write some code here. And since we have imported the REST framework, in this case, we are going to be using the REST framework GIS serializer. So I'm just going to write from uh, REST from REST framework underscore GIS dot serializers. Uh, import. So the GIS uh, serializers normally have some uh, classes. So we have a specific class called Geo Feature Model Serializer. Oops, Geo Feature Model Serializer. And then, of course, we will import our models. So from dot models, uh, import health facilities. Yeah, so we are going to create a class. Uh, we can call it uh, health facilities. Serializer. And going to uh, inherit the uh, geo feature model serializer. 
so we are going to create a meta and uh, in this case we are going to add our model which is uh, the health facilities and then you're going to add the it's good yeah, we're supposed to specify the geometric field or ge the field that has the geometry data so this will be uh, geom remember we had uh, named it as geom and if uh, we can just make a reference so we have this geom which is a multi-point field or a geometry field in this case so we have geom and then uh, we can specify the fields that we want to add so in this case i'm just going to add i'm going to add all of them by specifying that and then uh, we can see after adding our serializers uh, let's just save uh, we are going to add uh, what you call a view set and uh, in Django, the view set, uh, the work of the view set uh, in the Django REST framework, uh, it is a class-based view, and it provides a way to define CRUD operations uh, for a particular resource or model in your API. So the view set, I mean, they primarily work the same in the same way as the views, but now in this case uh, is in the context of uh, Django REST framework. So we are going to import, uh, let me just clear this. We are going to import from REST framework, we import a view set. Okay, and then uh, of course we will import our model. And then we are going to import, uh, we are going to create our class, which will be our view set class. So we'll have health facilities view set. And in this case, you uh, can just set it to view set uh, dot read only. So we are, our interest is just to read. Okay, read only our view set. Otherwise, if we were deleting, editing, and doing all that, we can also set that. So we will set our query set. Uh, you should be familiar with the Django query sets. Uh, so we'll in this case, we're just going to add all of them. Oops. We're going to add health facilities uh, dot objects dot all. So these like select all health facilities from uh, the table for health facilities and then we also need to import our serializers import health facilities serializer and then we can specify it here serializer class is equals to and facility serializer okay having done that the next step will be to set up our uh, urls we need to create a urls so uh, by default django only has these urls there for the project uh, but we need to have our urls for these uh, app so we just create a urls.py file So let's add from REST uh, framework uh, dot routers port uh, default router. So we have various routers under the uh, REST framework routers, uh, but you can refer to the documentation. So we are also going to import our view set port health facilities view set and then uh, we can specify our router which will be equals to it will be an instance of the default router and then we can register the url or the endpoint to our router so we have uh, we can set it as router uh, dot register uh, 
so in this case we can specify our view set which is equals to the health facility view set and then uh, we can also set a base name so in this case it will be just call it health facilities Yeah, and uh, then we can create our URL patterns, uh, which will be equal to our router dot URLs. So we can save that, and then our final step, or the other step, will be now we need to register our URLs to the project URLs. So we can just can just get this I'm just going to so whenever you open the home page you're going to see the uh, apps URL so in this case we'll have facilities uh, facilities dot URL so it's pointing it will be pointing to the URLs the app specific URLs so we'll have health uh, facilities or other sorry facilities dot URLs And we need to import something here. We need to include. So we'll add include. This one will be a string. Yeah, so we can save our uh, URL. So let's see what happens when we run our server. Run server. Yeah, so we have an issue. So it's saying cannot import the name view set from REST framework. Yeah, so it should be uh, view sets. Uh, let me correct that. Yeah, we have another issue. Uh, yeah, so for this one, uh, we will change this. Uh, since we are using our mo model, we are going to change this to our, to correct this to model. Uh, view because it's pointing to our model so we're going to change that to the model view set uh, let me restart the server yeah so since we have specified the base uh, router or the main uh, router we are going to add our we need to add the prefix it is a requirement to add the prefix so we are going to go to the URLs. Yes, uh, so we have, since we have specified, in our URLs, we have specified the default router. So the default router requires an argument, which is a prefix. So in this case, I'm just going to add the prefix, uh, which will be equals to, uh, I can just specify API uh, v1 for versioning uh, health facilities yeah so let me save that then let's try and uh, restart our server oh yeah so i forgot to add a comma yeah so let's uh, look uh, let's try and access our server okay so our issue is uh, here in the installed apps so we need it, it needs to be rest underscore framework not rest uh, framework okay so let's see what we get when we run our application yeah so it's saying that health view set should either include a serializer attribute or override the get serializer class so let's go to the health facilities uh, view set. Yeah, so here I've, I've also not named the serializer in a good manner. So it should be C serializer class. Yeah. So let's do a refresh. So field name all is not valid model for health facilities. Okay, so 
uh, let's see where we have an issue so let me remove this then save okay so it's saying that it's not found uh, oh. okay okay let me remove this on record yeah so as expected uh, it's going to yeah it's going to load our health facilities and as, as you can see we have the fields we have the id we have the type we have the geometry and the geometry type uh, it specifies as a multi point and then we have our coordinates so if you expose these endpoint to a, a like a map a mapping front end or a map front end that uh, consumes the coordinates then you can be able to display these points very well in a map like a leaflet map or a map box or any other map google maps or whatever so we at least we have been able to set up our rest framework and uh, we are going to see uh, in, our, in our next tutorial we are going to see how we can uh, uh, containerize this application so uh, if you like this video uh, if you find this video important don't forget to like uh, you can also share with your colleagues and also uh, subscribe to more content okay thank you for watching